Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. In this video, I will be talking about file formats, which is basically the files you can save or uh, basically save your, your, your drawings in AutoCAD. So I'm gonna showcase that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start a drawing. And in, in this video, I won't be creating anything. I will be just uh, making several files and save them under different file formats so I can show you this. So okay, so I created a new drawing, it's an empty drawing. I'm just gonna go ahead to the application button and I'm gonna hit the save as. And right now, I'm just gonna go to desktop, I have an AutoCAD folder here. And I'm just gonna name this file format 1. Okay, so under the file name, you can see here that you have files of type. So right now it's saying AutoCAD LT 2018. I'm gonna go ahead and click here, anywhere in here, and it will expand the entire uh, list. And I'm gonna highlight right away the three main um, file formats you can do. So the first one is the DWG, and the next one is the DWT. And the next one is, I don't have to go all the way down, it's right here, it's DXF. And you can right away notice that there's several, there's several DWG formats, there's several DXF formats, and there's only one DWT format. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the notepad from my other monitor here, and just write file formats, it's just for reference. So the first one is... DWG. The next one is DWT and the third one is DXF. Okay, so and I'm gonna talk a little bit about each one of them. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and save as it was originally if you if you saved right away, file format one, and I'm gonna hit the save button. And I'm gonna go ahead and open that folder. Can't see it. Okay, here it is. Okay. So here you go, this is file format 1, and you can see, um, maybe you can't see uh, where the file type is, but the icon would look something like this, and it's written here, it's a little tiny, it says DWG, and you can also right click and go to properties, and you can see here, type of file is DWG file. And I'm going to hit the X here, and go back to AutoCAD. So okay, so this was one file format that uh, that we can save our drawings as in AutoCAD. Um, the next format, I'm gonna go ahead back to the Start tab here, uh, and click on the Start Drawing button here. In case you couldn't come back to the Start tab here, you can click on the Application button, hit New, and then AutoCAD will ask you to select a template. And I always use ACAD LT, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Open. So right now this is another empty drawing and I'm just going to go ahead and click on save as. And right now instead of DWG I'm going to use I'm going to save it as a drawing template DWT. So I'm going to click here. And notice when you select a drawing template AutoCAD automatically jumps to the template folder uh that AutoCAD originally has. So so this is normal if this happens on your end it it does that. Um I'm just going to go ahead anyway and save this template drawing close to the other, in the same folder with the other DWG. That should be here, but we can't see it. So I'm going to call this one file format 2 and go ahead and click save. So when you, when you do, when you save a template file, this menu will pop up and it will ask you if you'd like to write a description or if you'd like to do something about the layers to make them unreconciled or reconciled. This is beyond the scope of this video and I will tell you anyway that me personally I don't change anything here when this pops up on my end so I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. Alright so I just showed you I'm gonna bring back this AutoCAD folder here and this is as I mentioned earlier this is the DWG icon this is at least how on my end the DWT file looks like. Um, also, I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to click properties. And you can see that the type of this file is AutoCAD LT template. By the way, a quick side note. Uh, AutoCAD, 
AutoCAD template, AutoCAD LT can open a regular AutoCAD template as well. So this is just something to mention. Um, okay, and I'm going to hit OK right now and go back to AutoCAD and save in the third format. So again, back to the Start tab. I'm going to hit the Start Drawing. And, and notice something also, this is a quick note on the side. When I go to the tab, to the Start tab here and I click Start Drawing, it doesn't ask me to, to select a template. But if I go from the Application button and hit the New, it will ask to start based on a specific template. So again, I'm going to use the ACAD LT and I'm going to hit Open. So this is just something, a quick note to mention. Okay, so this is again another empty drawing. I'm going to go ahead and click Save As. And this one I'm going to call it File Format 3. So this one I'm going to go ahead and save in the third format, DXF. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose the, the most recent one, 2018 DXF. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And bring in this... Um, this folder and I'm also bring uh, the notepad that I created earlier so okay now so now we have these together okay so this is the DXF icon this is how it looks like on my end might look a little different depending on your view options so if I have medium small icons they would look something like this list they would look like this um, uh, you get the idea I guess pretty much from here Okay, so DWG, so what's the difference between each one of these and when would you use them? Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the first one, DWG. So DWG stands for drawing. And basically this is the standard CAD, CAD file you would be using. So anytime you save your projects, uh, you would always use uh, this file format specifically. This is the standard at least for... Um, as far as I know for architects and for interior designers I'm assuming engineers but depending on what kind of engineer you are so um, so DWG is the standard AutoCAD drawing file so this is what you would go ahead and save your files as and the next one the DWT is basically a template file so the template file is basically a file that you would use to um, to save your settings. So it it basically a file you would start from. It's it's not a file type that you would use to save your project, but rather you would save certain settings in your project and then save save these set like this drawing that you created as a template. So that way you can start from it uh, later on for other projects or drawings. And anyway, I will talk in detail about the template, uh, the template file type in another video. So, so I'll leave that uh, to the video. And the next one, the last format we have, that we have the option to save to in AutoCAD LT, is DXF. So DXF is, I think it's called interchange file, interchange CAD file. So basically, this is uh, the kind of file format you would do. You would use um, to uh, most likely to send to other people to, who don't have a so who use a CAD software or a BIM software that doesn't support DWG. It doesn't support the the main uh, AutoCAD file format. So uh, usually, people would ask you to. They would tell you like, "Oh, I need a DXF file." Um, they don't have a use for the DWG. So this is regarding DXF. So again, to some of these three file, three file formats, DWG is the one you would be saving your projects and drawings. This is the standard one. DWT is for uh, the template files. This you would, you wouldn't save this. You wouldn't create a template every day. Um, you would, you would have maybe one or two or three templates. And, and and you just save them every now and then. And again, I'll leave that to the video later on. And the DXF specifically, um, this usually when you're working with other people, um, they would request it, so you would send it to them. And that's pretty much regarding the DXF. Okay, so 
one more thing I want to mention I want to talk about the year version so you noticed earlier that there is uh, DWG 2018 DWG there's 2013 I think there's 2000 2010 2007 and so on and that's also the same the same for the DXF and let's take a look at them okay back to AutoCAD I'm gonna go ahead and click save as for this drawing just so we can see the options here in this list and let's take a look so here the the year version okay see I was saying DWG there's 2018 2013 2010 and so on and the same for the DXF file format if you notice the drawing template it doesn't have year version like DWG and DXF so basically why is there different years and and you can see they're not 2000 and then 2001 but rather there's there's intervals between these years so AutoCAD uh, the the, uh, the company that makes AutoCAD Autodesk they try to make their softwares in a way where you can use the software to access older versions of the files so in the case of AutoCAD um, in the case of what I'm using actually specifically I'm using AutoCAD LT 2020 so AutoCAD LT 2020 can open any DWG created prior to the SEER version so it can open from 2018 all the way to AutoCAD R14 uh, LT 98 and and LT97 so I can I can open any CAD file created in these uh, year versions okay and that same the same applies to the DXF file format now for 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 a user for a user that has the newest AutoCAD version um, I have the 2020 so I would usually just stick to the newest year version but if I'm working with other people or or somebody requested uh, CAD drawings from me they might be using an older version of AutoCAD and therefore I need to send them a year version that works on their end because the older AutoCAD uh, versions they can't open newer versions so AutoCAD 2013 it can't open an, an AutoCAD, AutoCAD drawing with the year version 2018 so this is something to keep in mind when you're working in teams or you're working with other professionals um, or anybody or or anybody that requests CAD drawings from you usually it's better to send them older year versions so for example if I'm gonna send this to to an engineer I would send in 2010 uh, I would send the project and save it in 2010 uh, year version that way to make sure that he can open it no matter what AutoCAD version he has so this is something to to keep in mind all right and here I'm just gonna right now I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel uh, one final note I wanna I wanna mention that that if you save in earlier year versions the icons for DWG and DXF for the most part they will remain the same you won't be able to tell from the properties here what year version as far as I know I'm gonna check right now properties yeah it doesn't it doesn't say I'm gonna even check details file formats yep I can not see it so most likely you can't tell the year version so so anyway if somebody if somebody can't open the 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 file AutoCAD will tell them that the the AutoCAD file they're trying to open is probably from a newer version and that they need to get a compatible uh, drawing version that they can open on their end and that was it for this video